Welcome back. We just took a look at the components editor, and now we're going to take a look at what's called the blocks editor. The blocks editor is the wonderful part about App Inventor. It's the part that allows you to simply add blocks to this canvas right here. And those blocks actually have the computer programming language already written into them. So you don't need to learn how to write a string of code. You can just put these blocks in the right order and your app will work. Let's start taking a look at the tabs in the drawers along the left side here. This My Blocks area, you're going to see My Definitions in screen 1. I'm going to show you that the components that you place on your components editor are going to start appearing as a list inside of this My Blocks area. And this is where you're going to pull out things like buttons and what you want to do with them and getting your activity starters to start a specific activity for you. Now let's take a look at the built-in tab. These are not going to be necessarily related to your components that you place on the components viewer, but are going to help you work with those components to get App Inventor to do what you want. So we've got things like definitions. We can create our own definitions here. And if you don't understand what that is, don't let it scare you. We'll show you how to do that later on in the course. You can work with text. You can work with your lists that you're going to create. You can create mathematical formulas or just work with numbers right here. And you can work with logic, making things true or false and things like that. You can also work with controls. These are other things that uh, in programming language you would need to learn. But these blocks are already coded up for you. And then you can work with colors as well. Now let's go back to the components editor. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a couple of components onto the viewer here. Let's drag a button on there. And how about an image? And to top it off, we'll go grab an activity starter and throw that in here. Now, if we go back to our blocks editor, you'll see that under the My Blocks area, instead of just My Definitions and Screen 1, which is what we initially had, we now have our activity starter, we have our button, and we have our image. So we can essentially manipulate these things. If I wanted to, let's say, pull out a button, then you just take a look at what the block says. So when button one is clicked, what do you want it to do? And I'm actually going to show you how to get this button to do something in our first upcoming app, which we call Hello Purr. And just to wrap this video up, I'll show you real quickly that uh, you can get the Android phone emulator from the blocks editor here. And I'll show you how to open that and work with it in a later video. But if we go back to the components editor, this is where you actually have access to the blocks editor. You can see that it says right here, blocks editor is open. But if I didn't have it open, I would just click on this button and that will open up for me.